Hey guys, so this video is all about what we are going to be building in this course. So uh, just so you know, I'm not running any web servers or anything in the background. This is for running my uh, audio setup, which I'm running through a terminal since I don't have a desktop shortcut. Uh, anyway, and this is my screen recorder, which is currently recording now. So uh, what we are going to be writing in this course is a desktop application, which I have installed in this system. So I'll just go here and this is the application that we are going to be uh, writing. So, wow, the app loaded fine, right? Uh, now I'll just create a new user. Uh, one new user. Let's just name him Tom. Okay. And I'll sign up. Okay. This is the interface. That, this is a desktop, completely a desktop application, guys. Uh, you can simply drag it around just like you do with your desktop. You double click to maximize it and uh, double click to restore it, obviously. Anyway, this is the uh, interface that will be shown up when you first log in. Uh, you can see that it contains a list of several panels, right? The profile panel obviously contains your profile. Uh, you can change your nickname or you could change this profile picture as well. Uh, that's a simple thing. This add friends panel is the one in which you could add friends uh, to chat with guys so these are guys registered in our system this has an excellent uh, instant search as well for example mic is not shown right so, but if i just type mic uh, it'll automatically search and then you know it's a pretty cool instant search feature we have so what i'll do is i'll just add i use add a friend so that you can see what happens so i'm clicking on this add friend it shows requested right so uh, user uh, a friend request has been sent to rob that's what i'm uh, trying to say here so let's just log in with rob and see uh, and proceed from there okay i'll just log out and then i'll log in again with rob wow rob seems to have a lot of friends anyway you can see the request here right my requests and uh, a request sent by tom is present one is uh, this is for ignoring the request and this is for accepting the request obviously I'll just accept the request for now. Once I accepted the request, Tom automatically got added to my friends list here, right? So uh, what I can do here is I can simply click. These three panels are for, uh, as they say here, if you just click on a user, the details pertaining to that user will get shown here. Since there was no existing conversation, it just says no existing conversation exists between you two and there is a, a small button for refreshing the feed. So uh, I'll just start this. So I'll say hello, Tom. And if I just send a message, wow, it got sent, right? And a small, uh, no, a small notification here also appears saying that uh, nine seconds ago. Yeah. So uh, whatever messages, now we can simply chat with uh, Tom just like you would do in uh, the messenger application. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, this is how you do a one-to-one -one chat, guys. Uh, and also we have a couple of options here as well. One is for calling and the other one is for closing the chat. The next thing I want to say is this notifications, guys. Uh, the notifications, if I am like chatting with Vincent, okay. Uh, all the messages pertaining to Vincent. Obviously, you could send images as well. Images will be shown as small previews here like this. And it also has a ton of other, this chat feed has a ton of other cool features like uh, infinite scroll for instance. There are only 10 messages getting displayed, right? But when I try to scroll up, 10 more messages get displayed and so on and so on. Okay. And if I send a new message, obviously it will automatically scroll down to the bottom as well. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, there are a lot of uh, such features that you would obviously see in any the messenger application. Uh, and this notification is for if Tom sends a message to me now, okay, assume that Tom is sending a message to me now, but I am chatting with Vincent, right? In this case, that message will be pushed on as a notification here. And when I click on Tom, automatically that uh, notification will get dismissed since I am obviously chatting with Tom. That is Tom is the current chat user, right? Okay. Uh, this is the one-to-one -one chatting that we have engineered so far in this application. Uh, now I will simply close this chat. And uh, these are the groups, guys. Uh, these are the groups that I created, that is Rob created. Okay. So if I click on great group, I have a ton of features here, right? 
I, I can add a friend here or I can uh, kick out if I just click on add a friend I'll get a list of all my friends only the people who are my friends who are on my friends list I can add to the group guys I can't simply add a random user from the system into my groups so I'll just add Tom for now member of this group automatically it changed right and the add button also disappeared similarly I can uh, kick out a member uh, I can't kick out this guy because he is the owner of the group I can change the picture of this group and this is for group info okay uh, it will just show who is the owner of the group and who are all the members of this group and so on there are ton of uh, uh, this is a list of simple message I mean menus guys and uh, this again this chat feed will function the same way as this one to one chat feed functions uh, it also has all those infinite scrolls and you could send uh, picture images picture messages and all that as well so uh, yeah if I am clicking on Vincent Skang, uh, Vince Skang, that is this was a group created by Vincent right so uh, there are no messages in this group obviously but uh, if you notice all the options that were available when while I clicked on great group now vanished great group I got all these mess uh, options since I was the owner of this group whereas in Vince Gang I can simply view the info okay if I just click on info it says Vincent is the owner and I am a member of this group right so uh, yeah that's the groups guys uh, you could obviously create a new group as well and this is for refreshing the group list in case someone else added you uh, to a group and that group didn't get loaded here you could simply refresh the list so that you could see that group as well and request panel we already saw notifications you will receive notifications whenever uh, you are uh, someone else wants to chat with you uh, once you click on that person's uh, name here the notification will automatically get uh, dismissed guys so yeah a complete desktop messenger application written entirely with angular 5 firestore rxjs material 2 this entire design framework is material 2 obviously and uh, this is bundled to run inside electron as a desktop application this is what we'll be building in this entire course guys i'll be taking you through each and every each and every panel here is a separate component guys okay i have written them all separately and then they are all combined to run together so that it's less of a headache as we scale up right so i'll be taking you through each and developing each and every panel we'll be writing each and every line of code throughout this course there are like 50 plus videos in this course entirely so grab a coffee you'll need a lot of patience <laughs> uh, for building such an application we'll be going through all the engineering part of this application uh, one or two things again i wanted to mention here that is one is uh, no i'll just log out here uh, this twitter logging in with social authentication this won't be part of this course guys what i'll do is uh, uh, okay first i'll say what else is not part of this course and say, then say what i'll do instead of that so let's just log in into uh, that new guy that we just created what was his name one new user right I, this is tom right the person whom we just added to a group and he has one friend now who's rob uh, uh, so yeah rob has sent you a message obviously notification i am just clicking on rob notifications automatically got dismissed cool right so yeah this is what i have been uh, repeatedly trying to say guys uh, whatever message i send will be right aligned with this pale blue color whatever message i receive will be left aligned with this uh, white color as well uh, these are all common features in the messenger application the one other thing i wanted to say is this calling feature won't be included this is completely we are going to be writing with webrtc and firebase alone no peer-to-peer -peer libraries this won't be included as part of this course guys uh, and as well the social authentication won't be included as part of this course as well uh, what i'll do instead of that is i'll add these two as standalone videos on my youtube channel okay uh, the reason is that uh, i thought it would be helpful rather helpful to everyone and i also wanted to like uh, put in a couple of promos for this particular course so i thought i'll add these two functionalities in the youtube channel uh, so yeah uh, those two videos will be up on my youtube channel the rest of uh, the stuff shown here will all be present in this course there are like as i said 50 plus videos showing each and every step of this course uh, uh, not this course each and every step of building this application so yeah guys uh, uh, this is what you will be building this is what we will be building in this course you will need a lot of imagination uh, you will be seeing how to solve problems you will be seeing how to implement angular 
to write code for all of this and uh, yeah we'll be focusing on the engineering aspect of this application guys mm, so yeah thanks guys thanks for watching